And we have to finally fix the broken immigration system, for God's sake. First piece of legislation introduced. On my first day in office, I sent an immigration reform bill to the Congress, one that recognized the immigrants' contributions to this country, provides a pathway to citizenship for dreamers, temporary status holders, farm workers, and others. We need our colleagues to act. For decades, immigration reform has been a bipartisan in this country. Unfortunately, the mega Republican Congress and my predecessor spent four years gutting the immigration system under my predecessor. They continue to undermine our border security today, blocking bipartisan reform. So until Congress acts, I'm going to keep using every tool at my disposal as President of the United States to preserve and protect DACA, keep fighting for dreamers, and build a safe, orderly, humane immigration system. I mean it. First, we put in place policies that process people in a fair and fast way. Second, we're significantly expanding legal pathways for entry so businesses can get the workers they need. Families don't have to wait for a decade to be together. I've also directed my team to make a historic increase in the number of refugees admitted from Latin America. People fleeing violence and persecution who simply want their kids to have a better life. Next week, my team will consult with Congress on this plan. Third, we're supporting states and cities that have seen a surge in immigrants. We've developed federal experts and deployed them to help train city workers. We've launched outreach campaigns, helping over a million eligible migrants apply for work permits. And we're accelerating the process for work permit application. Right now, most migrants have to wait six months after filing a claim before they can go to work. Only Congress can change that. But the Secretary of Homeland Security can take extraordinary action. And yesterday, given the poor conditions in Venezuela, Secretary Mayorkas announced temporary protection for hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans already in this country. These migrants will be able to apply for work permit, but that's not all. We've already delivered over $1 billion that Congress appropriated to states and cities receiving immigrants, migrants. I requested more funding, but instead of stepping up with solutions, Republicans are threatening to shut down the government. Now, I think about this, man. Think how many people it's going to hurt. Think of the people who are going to get hurt. It's time to act. Meanwhile, we appreciate what business and nonprofits and churches and everyday Americans are doing with inspirational leaders like Sister Norma. They're doing to keep those in need what they need to just stay alive. You know, my dad used to have an expression. He also said, Joey, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about being able to look your kid in the eye and say, honey, it's going to be OK. Well, guess what? We're going to ask them to join us in doing a hell of a lot more. Folks, let me close with this. We're the only country in the world not built on ethnicity, geography, religion. We're the only country in the world built on an idea. And that's, no, that's not hyperbole. America is built on an idea. Almost every other country in the world is built on ethnicity or religion. The idea is simple, and it sounds profound, but it's real. The idea is that we're all created equal and deserve to be treated equally throughout our lives. We have never fully lived up to that. But we've never attempted to walk away from it either, like our MAGA friends have. We're not going to walk away from it now. And I believe we're a hopeful and optimistic nation that draws our strength from our diversity. I really believe it. Our diversity is our primary strength. That's why I keep fighting for a dedicated museum in the National Mall to celebrate the significance and contribution of our team. Not a joke. It's consequential. That's why at the time when there were those who want to ban books, erase parts of our history, we're going to make it clear, as we have here tonight, during Hispanic Heritage Month, Hispanic heritage in America is American heritage. That's what it is. Now, think about it, folks. I'm not, I'm not trying to just be nice. Let's be simple about it. 26 
Of every 100 children in grade school from kindergarten through high school come from Spanish-speaking homes. 26! <laughs> Folks, what are we doing if we don't respond? This is our future. You're our future. The idea of America lives in all of us. The idea lives in the dreams of those who've only just arrived in the legacy of families who've been here for generations. I want you all to know, I see you. I hear you. We need you. The American people are the heroes of this story. You never give up. We always dream. We always believe. And that's why I can honestly say I've never been more optimistic in my entire career. We just remember who in God's name we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we work together. Nothing. Think about it. There's not one goal we've ever set as a community we haven't achieved. So let's get the hell on with the job we have at hand. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you.